What's going on YouTube? This is Vultures85 here. So, with the March 2012 format upon us, it is now time to look at some of the decks that could possibly break into the meta with the help of either the ban list or um, new cards coming out in Galactic Overlord and Return of the Duelist later on this year. Um, we all know that Rabbit and Zectors and Windups are clearly top uh, tier in the format and um, there are other decks that stand a chance to uh, to make a big splash so uh, in my opinion here are some decks that I think are really going to make it so uh, first of all uh, Six Samurai uh, Six Samurai uh, gained some push from the ban list uh, because of uh, she and Smoke Signal coming back to two uh, Smoke Signal helps out the deck in many many different ways it adds to the consistency of the deck, which the deck honestly has problems with. Um, it allows you to, to get more searches, which is an extreme um, plus for the deck, because that's what the deck is great at. It's great at searching for whatever it needs at the moment. Um, Smoke Signal also helps advance uh, plays with uh, Gateway, United, and Asceticism. Um, Smoke Signal by itself helps... All three of these cards uh, become even more alive and um, helps boost the advantage that these cards give. Um, Smoke Signal coming back to two is a great, great addition to the deck. It's going to do some great things with it. Uh, Smoke Signal is also uh, bringing back some cards into uh, play that could have been forgotten within Samurai Archetype, like uh, Sheehan's Dojo. Uh, Dojo is a very, very powerful card. Uh, however, I think last format, a lot of people were afraid of the MS of the triple MST thing, so it really wasn't played. Uh, people thought it was probably too slow, but uh, Sheen's Dojo is a very, very powerful card. Um, shouldn't be played in threes, though. I'd probably play two of it in the deck, but um, Dojo is definitely is a great card if you... Uh, Going to uh, first turn she and play with this guy on, you can do some pretty, pretty horrific stuff. Uh, like play another card that a lot of people forgot about, uh, which is uh, Spirit of Six Samurai. Spirit of Six Samurai, in theory, is a very, very scary card. Um, equip this guy to um, Six Samurai Sheehan, and what you have is a 3,000 beater that negates spells and traps. And then when it destroys a monster by battle, you draw a card. And then when it would be destroyed, you can destroy this guy instead. Uh, this guy is very, very good for the deck. And he helps um, exceed plays, especially since level 3s are becoming extremely important in the game with every deck out there. Uh, especially with cards like uh, Wind Up Zen Mains, uh, Leviathan, Levier, and um, MX Saber Invoker. Uh, Invoker is a great card in the deck. Um, there's an OTK revolving around Invoker and Gateway. Um, it's it's really good OTK if you can get it off. It puts uh, 8,800 or 8,600 damage on board, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so Invoker is a really really good push for the deck, as well as uh, Blade Armor Ninja. Blade Armor Ninja gives you a whole lot more options except for um, Utopia when you go into um, Kizan uh, Asceticism Place. Um, Blade Armor Ninja is just an absolutely broken exceed, and um, it works very, very well in Six Samurai. Uh, next deck I want to talk about is Evolsor. Now, Evolsor has been in the shadow of Dino Rabbit uh, for you know, ever since the deck came out. In um, Photon Shockwave, um, what you have to explain, or what you have to understand, though, is that uh, Evolsor operates in an extremely uh, different way, but it still has the same um, end result. It plays more like Gladiator Beast than it does Rabbit, whereas Rabbit is a one-card combination to get this guy out. Um, Evolsor's is more about. Uh, Ripping your opponent apart and then dropping these guys. For example, um, playing uh, the Westlow. This guy is pretty much Gravekeeper Spy for the deck. Um, it's a flip effect and its effect is simple. Um, uh, flip effect, special summon one Evolsor from the deck. So you set this guy and your opponent attacks it. 
So this this guy has a 1900 defense. So unless he's hitting it with something big like Leviathan or some other bullshit that they've brought on you, he's not going to get run over. Um, and then you get the special summon on top of that. So you can special summon a um, Evulsor Diplo from your deck. Uh, Diplo says when you special summon by the effect of Involtal, you pop a spell or trap card on your opponent's side of the field. So um, you're taking away your opponent's resources at the same time as giving yourself materials to uh, drop Lagia and Dolka out onto the field. The deck becomes extremely abusive with um, cards like uh, Evoltal Najasho and Evoforce and with Enemy Controller. Um, Enemy Controller is probably, this is probably the most um, abused card in the deck. It is extremely broken, especially when used with Najasho, because what you're getting is a predicament where you tribute off the Najasho, you take control of your opponent's monster, and then you get the special summon with Najasho. So you put your opponent in the predicament where you steal their monster, and you can pretty much you can bring out a Lagia on top of that, and then start pushing. And it's even better since, um, like, if you steal your opponent's Utopia, you can then make Chaos Utopia Ray out of it. So um, enemy controller is very very broken. Um, on top of that, Evolsors are getting some uh, new support in. Um, Galactic Overlord in the form of a Voltile uh, Lagosakis, um, Evolsor Darwinos, and Varied Evolution. What Varied Evolution is is pretty much a Gladiator's Proven Ground for the archetype, except you can search for Evolsors or Evoltiles. Uh, so you can, you pretty much, you get to pick and choose what you want out of your deck, which speeds up the deck very, very quickly. Um, the Voltile is a combination of Armageddon Knight, where if you summon him, you get to uh, Foolish a Evolsor from your deck, and then when he's flip summoned, you can special summon an Evolsor from your deck. So again, you go into a predicament where you have uh, a combination of Armageddon Knight and a Weslo on board, which that card is it's very, very scary. Um, it allows you to go into even more plays, and plus uh, those again take advantage of Evo Force. So the deck definitely has is something to be um, looking out for. It's already a very powerful deck, and it's just going to get even better. So uh, the third deck I want to talk to is, or talk about rather, is Karakuri. Uh, Karakuri has been on the back burner for quite a while now, and to put it straight forward, Karakuri. Um, has still one of the most broken synchros in the entire game, which is Karakuri uh, Shogun Beret. Uh, Beret controls the field as soon as he hits. Uh, being able to uh, put your opponent's monster into uh, defense or offense at any given time and then start smacking it is, um, is very, very powerful. And then when it's brought out, it can bring out another Karakuri from your deck which allows um, the infamous Karakuri spam plays. Um, not to mention that with um, the constant power walks that the game takes, eventually there's going to be uh, rank 8, rank 7 um, exceeds coming out. And Karakuri is going to be one of those decks that's going to be able to abuse uh, both of those ranks at any given time with being able to spam Beratos and Berets onto the field, just then exceed and make these broken-ass exceeds. And, you know, um, Karakuri will definitely be a deck to look out for. So, um, definitely uh, take advantage of being able to get these guys cheap. So, uh, comment down below. Tell me what you think is going to make a splash in uh, the TCG in the format. Um, maybe pre... No, well, in between... Um, uh, Galactic Overlord and Return of the Duelist. Um, as always, like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you think. This is Vultris, over and out.